YouTube, it is LittleRocker133 here today, and I'm going to be doing a battleground on my Worgen Hunter on Alliance Deadeye. This used to be Little Rocker, but I cannot make up my mind. Um, today we're going to be doing Winter Grasp, and we're just going to be running around killing. Some parts of the view are going to be in faster speed, some aren't. I'll just depend on when I talk and not. I'll try to talk through the whole video. I'm kind of bad at that. I don't know what to say usually, but. So, you guys should know Winter Grasp, level 90 dungeon, or not dungeon, level 90 battleground. They You just pretty much kill the enemies, uh, like guards, until you rank up, until you can buy more of the. Siege engines or catapults or a demolisher. I like demolishers because they're easier on taking out towers and fortresses if you're attacking the alliance. It all just depends who has control. I'm working on my Xmog set, Transmog 2. I still haven't hooked up the pants, but I'll soon get the bow. It's the season 11 gear but I I like it I think it looks awesome still need pants bow everything The thing I like about the Demolisher is like it doesn't hit as hard as the Siege Engine. Like I like the Siege Engine if I'm just going into strong walls, but I like the Demolisher for if you're like up here on the map, you can shoot over this wall and actually hit the gate, while the others destroy the wall. You can actually just destroy the main gate and be like help break a layer before the other layer is broken. And you could shoot a lot farther and higher with the demolisher, which I I like. And you have two attacks. But see, you only hit for like a thousand, thousand five hundred, to where the siege engine hits for like two thousand, two thousand five hundred. But you only have one attack on the siege engine. I believe it has four second cooldown. Or I'm not quite sure. I don't know. They hit about the same, but demolisher can just shoot farther. But it doesn't have as much health as the siege engine, which that's a downfall. But usually you don't have much people attacking you in winter grass, especially if you're on my realm, Illyria, which is not a PvP realm. Also, I play in Marksman. Uh, I really enjoy like these glyphs. Some people prefer like Mirrored Blades, but I enjoy Solus more because the Mirrored Blades, it actually, the only bad thing about it is that it goes off of um, resilience. So like say a Warlock crits you for 100k, which you we all know it's not going to only be 100k, it's going to be like 500. But if they crit you for like 100k, it's going to bounce off of you for like 40% decrease in damage because of your magic resilience. And then it's going to like bounce, it's going to hit them for another 40% of their resilience. So really it's only going to be hitting you them for like 20k instead of the 100k. So that's the downfall to that one. But eh. Also, I prefer the wolf pet because it's best for damage and make sure it is ferocity because that does most damage. It's just, yeah, and also it has this furious howl, which it's the only one in game. Only wolves have it and it increases your critical strike chance by 5%, which is majorly good if you can get crits off. So, that's always good plus and he's taking damage over there so
You sweet, I hate this guy. And before you burst, you're going to want to do SETI shot twice because you get this thing called SETI focus and increases your attack power. Then you're going to burst and you also get a lot more like focus gain. Also choose to have Thrill of the Hunt for like arcane shot because I mean I used to have fever so I could cast more aim shots but people have been telling me that arcane shot's pretty good and I've realized that. Um, try to get Crystal of Insanity for extra damage because increases all your stats by 500, which is way helpful. Because that is on Timeless Isle. It's like it's in this cave up here. It helps out tons, but this is not a guide to damage. So C2000. This is pretty much how you win Winter Grasp. If you're attacking, you just gotta destroy the towers. And look, you win. Next battle, yada yada. But yeah, that's how you do it. And then if you're attacking, you just wanna destroy that wall or that wall or any of these walls just to break in and capture the fortress, I believe. But yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.